Hi, this is Latin. Hope everyone is staying safe. And we're back with Soft Wings Play and Learn Shorts. Today we will be covering blueprints. And here we are, Software Inc.'s main menu. In order to create a building, in order to create a blueprint, we need a building. And in order to create a building, we need a map. So let's click on Custom Maps. And you have a choice, Empty Plots and Buildings. The first information here is Generating String. My suggestion is when you're building, document to generate a string. I just take it, copy it. I go over to Notepad, save it, S-A-N-C, city map, and then the map string. I have a folder for city, I have a folder for rural, and I have a folder for town. And I always put the information in it. If it's in reference to a video, I put that information in, save it. You always want to place it where it fits, and you always want it to fit where you build it. So that being said, today we're not going to be doing any building. What we're going to do is get a building. So we're going to go to buildings. And these are basically buildings we've already built. It. So we're going to get Zabby's home. So what we're going to do is create a blueprint. You have to select your building. Select entire building. Don't select just this floor. You want the entire building. That's what you want a blueprint. Go down here to Buildings Blueprints. Select that. Save Selected Rooms. Zavi's House. That should suffice. That's it. If you go and select Zavi's House, you will have the option to include the basement, not include the basement. It'll tell you the square meters. Building costs, furniture costs, computers, like in this situation when you have one incompatible furniture, we have none. And you have buttons here. Rename, move, and you, if you're moving it, you're moving it to a group that you've created. If you create a group and move it to that group, fine. You're only going to create a group and move this to a group if it is not going to be uploaded to Steam. If it's going to be uploaded to Steam, don't put it in a group because when you go to upload, it's going to upload the whole group. If you make any changes, this is where you update. Replace the selected rooms. They will be replaced and that's how you update. You can look at the colors. It shows you the pictures. We'll look at that real quick. Let's show demonstrations. Select everything. Change colors, let's change these colors. Something a little bit more summary, maybe. Select one, two, three. You gotta select all three of them if you're gonna change them to the same color. Okay. Select the entire building. Go back here. Update, and you see it changed to yellow with the lighter green. So that's how you update. Let's go back out to menu. If you want to upload it to Steam, we're going to go into mods, blueprints, find your blueprint, Zabi's house, put your name on it, put a description, this description, whatever you put here is for your own purposes, this will not transfer over to Steam. That information, you're going to have to put it on Steam. Now, if we go to upload, are you sure you want to upload this to the Steam Workshop? Please refrain from uploading work that is not yours. We're going to go yes. Here we are. The Steam Workshop. Now all this information, edit title, add a description. I update all of that in Steam. Change visibility, I do that in Steam once I've updated everything else. The default is hidden. You can put it as public, friends only, or unlisted. 
once you edit all the information will be filled in here the images will sh show up under the actual right here the, all your images you upload will show under the actual picture click here to get back to the game mod uploaded successfully remember to change the visibility of your mod in the workshop which we covered so that's it make your changes and if you want to update anything you change it you save it and then you come back in here and you hit update and it will update it and it's going to ask you to put a comment as to what has been updated i advise you to put in the description what you've updated and put it in the comments too and then you do a save again and it will update now what i never do is subscribe to my own Uploads because you subscribe to your own uploads when you're going to go update you get problems There's no need for you to subscribe to it. You have it unless you want to go in with another Account on steam and check to make sure if everything is working fine. You could do that also I do that because I have more than one account on steam It costs you nothing to get another account just to check things so that's it that is blueprints in a nutshell. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out.